Good afternoon and welcome to Van Wert High School. This afternoon, WSN brings you a doubleheader action. It is Lincoln View versus Van Wert, and it is ladies basketball followed by boys basketball this afternoon. So we will open up with the Lincoln View Lancers and Kyle Williams' team being 5-5, five and five, and the Van Wert Cougars, Hannah Flippo's team, is 3-7. and seven. My name is Mark Shines. My pleasure to do play-by-play -play alongside Mr. Matt Mark Bagley. Coach, kind of interesting afternoon. Glad we put this one together. Your kind of thoughts before we put this game on to, to start. This is a fun game between county rivals. And, and we started this a few years ago with the varsity girls and varsity boys. And it's usually over the Christmas holidays. It's a little later this year, but it's a great uh, showcase of the county, both girls and boys on the same night, and, and it's an awesome opportunity for the girls as well. Both these teams are coming off of victories. Lincoln View defeated Lima Central Catholic on Thursday, 55-16. Van Wert defeated Defiance, 46-44. Let's look at our starting lineups. Lincoln View, Kyle Williams' team will start number four, Ashlyn Price. Ashlyn's a 5'9 junior, averaging 8.4 points per game and a bunch of other stats to go with it. Number 12 is Kiara Brees. She is a 5'5 sophomore, averaging 12 a game. Number 20 is Emerson Walker, 5'6 junior, averaging 8.9 points per game, four rebounds, 23. Addison Stevens, a 5'8 senior. She averages almost eight points a game. And number 25 is Ella Elling. She is a 5'10 sophomore at two points and five boards per game. Hannah Flippo's team, she will start number four. Uh, Kendra Deering. Kendra is a junior, averaging eight points a game. Number five, Katie, help me out there, Mark. Diamikas. Diamikas, thank you. She is a sophomore, 11, Jordan Blythe. She's a senior, averaging four points and five boards a game. Number 12, Jaslyn Florence, a freshman, averaging six a game. And number 21, Amaya Dowdy, a uh, freshman. She is averaging 6.6 .6 and almost five boards per game. And Mark, as I went through those numbers and names, we've got a lot of very young players on both teams starting today. Yeah, for Lincoln View, uh, they are very young as well with one senior. And Van Wert has two freshmen starting. They're t they started five seniors last year, so it's a brand new team uh, for Van Wert this year. Our officials today are Curtis Bigelow, Dick Anderson, and Kim Egbert. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Loudix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street here in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. So I mentioned earlier, this is our opening game this evening, the final game of our two-game broadcast tonight will be the boys' version of this particular broadcast, and it will air right after this particular game as well. We are ready for high school basketball here on a snowy, foggy, Misty, kind of whatever you can think of. Coach, it's a great day to be in a warm gym. Yeah, winter has finally come. It looks like this week and the next few looks like snow and cold coming our way. So it's uh, basketball 2024 style. And we really start to see teams, Mark, show some of their traits and colors as we get to the midway point of the January uh, a lot, lots of coaches do lots of experimenting over that Christmas holiday break time period, and we'll see how that plays out here into January. Tip goes to Van Wert into the hands of Amanda Dow Amaya Dowie right here. She heads to the rim. Shots blocked inside, but we're going to get our first foul in the basketball game, and Amaya will go to the free throw line. And both Van Wert freshmen are getting more and more confident as they go, and you can see there with Amaya's drive, went to her left hand and shooting two free, two free throws. Ashlyn Price picks up the first foul of the basketball game. Amaya averages 6.6 .6 points per game, 4.8 rebounds. That one skips off. That one bounces away as well into the hands of Addison Stevens. To the point guard, Kiris Brees. And we're showing some zone here. Match, match up. It looks like a 1-2-2. Two, two, and, and they put Blythe at the top with her great length. Pass inside. Ball's tipped out of bounds and away from Ella Elling. And it will be off of Elling's hand. They ask an awful lot of Blythe. She went from the top of the key down to the block, and that's how they rotate that zone. So when the ball goes below the free throw line area, it kind of fl uh, flexes into a 2-3 a zone. Penetration dribble. Deering. Baseline pass and the misconnection between Daring and the Amicus. And Lincoln has been playing very well of late. And their defense, you can see, is very solid man-to-man. -man. Rotation is good. 
and, and created a turnover there for Van Wert. They are at 2-0 and oh in the Northwest Conference, which is proving to be a very interesting conference for the ladies' basketball this year. We'll see how that plays here into January. Penetration dribble, Price. Here's a kick-out pass, and eventually into the hands of Brees. This ball is going to go up from Walker. Missed. Rebound. Backside. And there's our first basket in the game to Kiara Brees. Always hard to defense rebound an air ball. It seems like those always go to the offensive teams. And we're with five on the perimeter to Dowdy. And then to Jaslyn Florence, and they trying to get that screen action. Bamwood runs a lot of open post offense with, with occasional ball screens. Deering goes to the rim. Nope. Rebound. Snatched away. Here comes Brees the other way. Three ball out of the corner. Emerson Walker. Nope. Dowdy rebounds that and off. Gets her outlet pass to Deering. She's headed to the rim again. Kick out. This will be a three from Diamikas, and that one drains. Her sixth three-point field goal of the season. And she's worked really hard to become a good shooter, and that was a spot-up three. Penetration kick out. Set that one up. 3-2 Three, two Cougars. Two-plus minutes into this one. Walker. Whatever you play as zone mark, the backside rebound is always going to be the key. Rebound secured by Amaya Dowdy, and we'll have our second foul of the contest. Ella Elling will get the foul, and Lincoln View will show some 2-2-1 zone press. Yeah, ball handling's been a struggle at times for Van Wert, so I think they're trying to get them to make mistakes and get some easy baskets out of it. Pass inside. Here's the drip penetration dribble. Bounce pass across the lane. Nope. Rebound comes to Emerson Walker, and she will push the pace the other way. Link to the floor, and it's tipped away from her. She scrambles to get it. Kick out to a teammate. Here's a three ball by Stevens. Addison Stevens has her 16th three-point field goal of the season. 50-50 ball. Link of you gets it, kicks it out for a three. Cross-court pass. Deering, she goes to the rim again. Constant movement in that direction. Here's another three that goes up from Diamikas. He's got a pair of those in the opening quarter. And, and you saw there against the man-to-man -man defense, Van Wert went ball, middle side, middle, uh, or side for a three. Great ball movement from Van Wert. Here's a skip pass, looked at a three, turned it down. This will be a three ball that'll go up. Battle inside for the rebound, one by Price. And Ashlyn Price will go to the free throw line. Whenever you play a zone, it's, it's really hard to find a girl to box, and, and, that, and they struggled on that one, and a, and a great job there getting the offense rebound by Lincoln View. Jaslyn For Florence picks up her first foul. Ashlyn Price, with a 65% free throw shooter on the season, makes her first. Brooklyn Byrne will enter. She wears number 24 for Lincoln View, and number five, Cassidy Hammonds, will enter as well. Spins around, stays in for her. That's her second uh, two points around that possession. Now they're going man-to-man -man press, a little run and jump. Good trap on the side by Brees, but she reaches her hand in the cookie jar and gets called for a foul. And Mark, Brees, go ahead. And, and throughout this game, you'll see a tremendous amount of pride from both coaches. Hannah graduated from Van Wert and Kyle from Lincoln View. So there's a lot of uh, scarlet and gray and, and blue and gold. Ball's tipped out of bounds. And would you say they were pretty good players at their respective schools? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Both were good players and highly competitive. Lob pass in. Dowdy accepts the screen. And we will get a Lincoln View foul. Emerson Walker gets her. First foul, that's the fourth of the quarter. Do you like the new free throw rule? That, that's a good question. I, 
I, I've not watched enough games to see it have an impact. Uh, I, I think there's going to be some games that ship at some point this year at the end of quarters to start fouling and, and, and doing some different things on poor free throw shooters or whatever. But it hasn't made a difference to me this point, but we'll see as the, as the year goes on. I, I've seen a couple of games where you get into the fourth quarter and by now you're down six and you want to foul, but you only have one team foul because they've erased them at the end of the third quarter, and so you got to foul, foul, foul. Um, I've seen that happen a couple of times. I also a tw saw a 27-minute quarter. Both teams double bonus. There's a three that's going to go up, and that splashes in. Three ball, Cassidy Hammonds. I saw a 27-minute JV quarter. Lots of fouls, a couple of got coaches calling timeouts. It, it just drug on forever. And, and that's a concern. It is. Deering to the rim. Shot it a little bit hard. The rebound comes to Brees. And Kendra's a downhill player. That's her strength, and she just hasn't been able to finish yet. She's a tremendous athlete, a state track athlete for Van Wert, uh, and, and she's her leading scorer. 10-6. Our score, short jumper in the lane, right, rolls off for Brees, and we're going to get a foul on the backside that I believe will lead to free throws at the other end with our new rule. And that's that backside rebound we talked about, Mark. Uh, it was great box out there by Dowdy, and she's going to the line to shoot free throws, and and it's two free throws, and so yep. it, I just need to see more action and, and more games to get a, a firm handle on that as a coach. My very last game, I wish I would have had that rule. Because <laughs> we missed three front ends that, and before overtime that would have really given us a chance to have another free throw three times. Dowdy makes that free throw. It's her first point in the game. I, I talked to a, quote, old timer who says, I like that one-on-one -on -one pressure. I want to see that kid make the first one. Well, it, it's all part of the game now. It's, it's a two-shot foul situation. So it cleans it up a little bit, certainly. And that one is short. Tracked down in the corner by Brooklyn Byrne. Under three minutes to go in our opening quarter. Hammond throws it cross court. Here's a three that's going to go up. High arching shot. Rebounded on the backside by Walker. Hammond's ball fakes. And that will be a foul. That's been two air ball offensive rebounds from Lincoln View. And that's this one you have to locate and find and box. And Great play by Lincoln View to get another possession. Jordan Blythe picks up her first foul. She has now half of the team fouls on Van Wert here in our opening quarter. Walker doubled up. Hammond's going to get a three look. It's blocked. Rebound secured by Blythe. And that's what Deering does. She got a deflect and then she got a block. She's, she really has a lot of energy when she plays. This is Kendra with the basketball. Florence off a screen, runner in the lane. Scramble for the rebound, comes to Hammonds. Cross dribble, we look into the corner, and we got a rolled ankle, no, we got to travel. Our free throw sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphos, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. And you, and you saw there the last drive by Florence. As a young player, sometimes you get in the lane and you're just out of balance. And she kind of just threw it up there. And that she'll learn as she, as she gets more experience to get on balance when she shoots at. Got a screen inside. Nice executed play and the finish inside by Blythe. That was a well done play. Got a back screen for her. Back screen and rolled to the basket. Nice pass by Florence. 10-9 opening quarter. And our first time out of the basketball game. This one will go to Lincoln View. Time out for us as well. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We're back at Van Wert. Our scoreboard sponsor today is Loudix Jewelry. Your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Haven't been in your town, Mark, since last fall. A lot of changes downtown, aren't there? Yes, there are. Some There's, really cool stuff going on. Yeah, they're, they're opening up some apartments for living downtown. There's a new uh, chocolate coffee store downtown. and. 
and lots of things happening. Obviously, the stadium, the first phase of the stadium got done. So Van Wert downtown is hopping right now. Lincoln View with our first time out. They have a one-point lead on our Loudix Jewelry scoreboard. Screen. Out behind the screen is Stevens. There's that name you brought up about how hard she plays. Kendra Deering with the rebound. She's going to patch the head. She's got a teammate open, and they just misconnect, and she tried to get it to Jordan Blythe. That's only the third turnover for Van Wert. Uh, Lincoln View has two, so it's been a pretty clean first quarter. Uh, Lincoln View has shot a lot of threes. That They've been tempted nine threes so far in this first quarter. That's what Van Wert wants people to do is, is, is shoot threes, and, and uh, Lincoln View has made two. And they'll look to make some more here. Pass is stripped away, but gets it back, does Walker. This is Hammonds. Hammonds tracks it down the corner, and she saves it to a teammate. Hammonds gets a three from the corner. Cassidy Hammonds splashes her second three of the quarter. She's got six in the game. Her team leads by four. Back at you at the other end. That three rattles out for Diamikas. Emerson Walker. Jump around the corner. That would go. Stevenson. Edison has two three balls in the opening quarter, matching the efforts of Cassidy Hammonds. And we will get a foul with 10 and a half seconds to go. And the difference in this first quarter, Mark, really has been that the 50 50 plays that Lincoln View has made, there's been a couple of them for threes that has been, you know, essentially the, the, the uh, difference. And, and Van Wert has not shot well from the line early on. One for four. We'll see if Kendrick can make a couple here. I have missed who the foul call was on. I'll try to catch that here at the quarter break. Shot's a bit hard. 8.2 points per game. 2.6 steals for Kendra on the season. So her team is 2-1 and one in the Western Buckeye League. Splashes the second one for her first point. See if the Lincoln View Lancers can get last shot of the quarter. Walker down the lane. Runner in the lane. Bounces hard. Rebound to Ella. And Ella Ellings shot at the buzzer. Is a bit hard. We played the first eight. Lincoln View 16. Van Wert 10. You're watching high school basketball. WOSN. We're back at Van Wert High School. Our free throw sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delta, San and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Coach Bagley, how about some stat numbers from the opening quarter? The, the biggest stat for Lincoln View is, is they're four for 11 from three, only one of three from two, two of two from the line, but that four of 11 against Van Wert zone is huge. They've also had 10 rebounds to Van Wert's five, and that's been a big factor too. For Van Wert, one for five, from two-point range, two of three from three, but only two of six from the line. That's kind of that difference now. And the loose balls, the, the offensive rebounds uh, have been the difference in this game early on. The leading scorer in a basketball game each has six. Katie Diamikas, Addison Stevens, Cassidy Hammonds. They all have six points because they all made two three-point field goals. Lincoln View ball to start quarter at number three, and that ball goes out of bounds over the head of and Lincoln View Lancer on the pass from Ashlyn Price. And once again, Deering caused that turnover by, by sneaking up there. And she saw it and tried to throw a little harder, and it went out of bounds. Deering into the lane. Foul line jump shot. Rebound comes to Kira Brees. She's doubled on the sideline. And beats traffic over to midcourt. And Deering had a steal going, but... Kendra Deering gets her first foul in the first of this quarter. And right now, both teams are, are over dribbling. Uh, they're dribbling into pressure. They're getting double teamed, and, and they're panicking a little bit. And as the game settles down, there hasn't been a lot of turnovers, but as the game settles down, 
that'll improve too. Off a screen, here's a jump shot that'll go up from Brees. Block, rebound inside. And we're going to get a blocking foul as Ella Elling was trying to power the ball to the rim. And she'll be fouled by Amaya a Dowdy. And that's five offense rebounds now for Lincoln View. And their effort inside has been really good. Their size advantage, especially when Blythe's out playing the top of the key, it takes her a while to get down there. And that's an advantage Lincoln View. Elling to the free throw line. Scoreless in the game so far. And not anymore. Second free throw opportunity, Ella Elling. And hustling into the rebounds, Walker. Baseline jump shot for her. During rebounds. In a hurry the other way. And out of bounds. In a, in a hurry is a good way to put yep. that. And, and again, just playing a little too fast right now. And, and I just wonder, Mark, you know, so many coaches now are running this dribble drive motion stuff from the perimeter and all that. Don't you see more dribble against zone because teams are so used to doing that against man? It, you got to kind of change your focus a little bit. Yes, they are. And right now, Lincoln is struggling. They're, they're trying to get a high ball screen against it, which has been effective at times. But the, the skip passes just aren't working right now for them. Here's the 2-2-1 two, two, press from Lincoln View. Lancers with a 17-10 lead. On our loud Jury scoreboard, there's a move to the goal and got it stripped away by Elling. Spin move, going to the rim, Price. Ashlyn Price has four in the game now and we will get a Hannah Flippo timeout. Her team trails by nine. You're watching High School Basketball, WOSN. Check out our website at WSN.TV for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. At the break, Mark, you were telling me the JV team's got to match up this morning. That's always a good thing. You wouldn't want the, the boys and girls, younger players, to lose a game because of an event like this. Yeah, the, the other team hosts, uh, so Lincoln View hosts the JV girls at 10 and the JV boys Im immediately following that this morning. So it's a really good way to promote the entire program throughout the, the, the whole day. Sometimes we have these events like this or a tournament of some type and a shootout or whatever, and the JV team gets slighted a little bit, so there's a good chance they get to play today. Here's a three that's going to go up. That missed. Rebound on the backside by Hammonds. Cassidy with the basketball. And Lincoln has been able to build this lead by controlling the boards and, and, and making that extra pass for an open shot. Like Here's that. a three that goes. Give that one to Kira Brees for 12th of the season. And Lincoln View's ball movement's really picked up, and that really helps to get open shots against his own. Their defense has been outstanding this quarter. They pitched a shutout for the first two minutes plus, and there's a steal. Headed to the rim. Shot will not fall for Stevens, but rebound basket does. And we are going to get a back-to-back -back timeout as we get the basket by Brees on the rebound basket. She's got five and a quarter now, and we're going to get another timeout by Lincoln by Van Wert. I think that's a 13-0 run. It was 11-10, and there was a hustle play. Lincoln hit a three, and from there it just ballooned by turnovers by Van Wert, offensive rebounds, and, and Coach Flippo needed that timeout after a, she just had one. Yeah, it's a 14, uh, what, 14 0 run here in the quarter. No, excuse me, uh, 8 0 run here in the quarter. And I believe a 13 0 run to, to end the first exactly. quarter to, into this to, point. To push it to that particular point. We're pleased to announce a new pricing for the WSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv and also available on Roku and on Apple. Full court pressure from the Lancers. Ball was inbounded to Diamikas and then back into the hands of Dowdy. They've done a good job of mixing up their presses from man to zone and defensively they're just taking Van Rout of their offense right now. 
that they have. Florence looking for somewhere to go. There isn't anywhere. And this is the one criticism of the dribble drive. When people start standing and dribble, it's easy to defend. Catch on the wing, Diamikas. Is Dowdy trying to get to the rim? Left-handed shot, doesn't go. Rebound basket, however it does. Chalk one up for Jordan Blythe. She's got a basket in each corner for four. And they weren't needed that desperately. Mm. Here's a three that'll go up from Emerson Walker. And the rebound on the backside, ripped away by Amaya Blackmore. And we'll get a foul. That will go to Cassidy Hammonds. First for her. First team foul also of the half of the second quarter. That was a great uh, backside block out by Blackmore. That's the, against the zone, you have to get that rebound on the backside. Dowdy works the middle and breaks the press. You know, Mark, there are some teams that, that they can zone press and they do not have the ability to get back and pick up man to man, but Lincoln View is able to do that. Yeah, and it, by communication and, and, and by just Playing together, that, that works. Dowdy three. Oh, it spun out for scrap for the rebound. Comes back to Amaya, and she has it tipped away from her. But here's a pass inside. That one is taken away by Brooklyn Byrne. It's four turnovers, three steals by Lincoln in this period. We're only four minutes in. There's that high ball string. It's his own. Three ball. Kier Brees. Hard. The rebound went into the hands of Blackmore. She's got a couple of rebounds since she came in. She's fouled. Price picks up her second foul. Against the 2-2-1, you want to attack one side, reverse the ball, and then start looking for the skip pass. There's that pass right there. There's a penetration dribble. That's a three on two opportunity. Yep. Blythe, that's what you're supposed to do when you break the press and nail a 12 foot jumper to, cut, to cap it off. That was textbooks there by Van Wert. Trying to get back in this game right now. Look if he's controlled the second quarter. Penetration dribble. There's a lob that goes inside to Price and she battles inside. Ball was knocked out of bounds by a Cougar. Deering back in the game. She will replace Katie Diamikas. <laughs> Elling. Ella Elling, the official immediately signals a two point basket. She's got three points in the game now. Above her average, nice 15-foot jump shot. Van Wert was a little confused. They went man-to-man -man defense and out of bounds. They were confused on who they were guarding. Tried to pass inside. They do. Here's a pass out to Florence. Good inside-out action. Dowdy rush, hustles into the rebound in the corner. Approaching two and a half minutes to go here in our opening half. Here's a screen by Florence going to get a three look. That's a bit hard, but the rebound was secured by Jordan Blythe, and she was muscling up for a shot. We'll go to the free throw line. On a foul by Brooklyn Byrne. And that's four offensive rebounds for Vanward this quarter, so they're not making shots, but they're trying to find a way to get back in this game right now, down 11. Jordan Blythe's first two free throws of today. Or 12, sorry. Bad design on our scoreboards with the baskets on the side. Yeah, it is a little bit difficult to see here, isn't it? At times, it's a wonderful facility. And unfortunately, our middle school board is not functional for scoring. Second shot missed as well, and it headed in the other way in a hurry is Kira Brees. They were at two for eight marks from the free throw line this first half, and that's another way not to get back in the game is miss free throws. Hammonds for three. Banks it in. The bank is open on Saturdays. Cassidy Hammonds has three field goals for nine points. They all count. They all count. Bounce pass across the lane, stolen and tipped away. Headed the other way is Emerson Walker. 
Ball is tipped in the backcourt, and not sure whether she had to save it or not. She did. The ball went over to Blythe. And that'll be a great teaching point on film to, to really explain to the girls what the rule is on that. And it's a good learning lesson here uh, early in the season. There's that back screen lob. Played a little better defensively. In fact, the pass is stolen. Good play by uh, Ella Elling. That's five steals, and almost all those steals, textbook help side defense. Split the defense and go and score is what Kiera Brees does. She's got nine in the game now. Matching Cassidy Hammonds is a leading scorer for either team. And, and Van Wert just needs to get out of this to halftime and regroup themselves because right now Lincoln View is just taking control of the game. Shots long. Hammonds rebounds that one. Cassidy Hammonds, a very impressive 5 3 freshman, does a lot of things for her team. Walker for three out of the corner. And Elling had a chance to grab it on the backside, but. Sometimes those air balls are hard to secure. Rolls off her leg and out of bounds. And Lincoln View has not been, been as shy of shooting uh, threes. They've shot 16 this first half and made five. And we're going to get a foul on the reach over that will take place by Emerson Walker. Only four fouls. So the next one will be the two-shot bonus. Walker's second foul. 51.3 to go before halftime. Skip pass. Diamikis ends up with it. She's going to take a three. Back of the rim. Scramble for the rebound. And the held ball will favor, I think, Van Wert. Great hustle by both teams. Help each other up. And it's Lincoln, or Van Wert's ball. With 34 seconds to go. Thirty-one fourteen on our Loudix Jewelry scoreboard. Inbound pass stolen. Hammonds is going to go line lane and has it blocked out of bounds. Twenty-eight seconds to go. And turnovers have not allowed Van Wert to get back in the game. They've had seven this quarter, Mark. Mm. Bounce pass inside. A little jumper that will go inside on the out of bounds play to. Emerson Walker, she has her first basket of the game, makes it 33-14 on the Loudest Jury scoreboard. Dowdy gets into the lane. Her runner is short. Scramble for the rebound. And this held ball will favor Lincoln View with 8.6 to go. This is a good opportunity for Lincoln View to practice the last under 10. Play. There's going to probably be a ball, high ball screen at the top of the key. There's the screen you described right there. Here's a pass in the corner. Quinlan Walker with it. Brees gets a jumper. And the opening half will come to an end. It's good if you're wearing Lincoln View Lancer colors. They're up 33 14 as we head to the break. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Van Wert High School. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Loudest Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Mark Shine and Coach Mark Bagley. How about your stat numbers from the first half, Mark? Yeah, first for Van Wert, the home team, 14 points, 3 of 11 from 2, 27%, 2 of 9 from 3, 22%. Overall, uh, 5 for 20 for 25% from the line. Two of eight, 25%. So they've really struggled to shoot the basketball. Uh, as far as their numbers, they've got five offensive rebounds, eight defensive, but 10 turnovers, seven happening in the second quarter. For Lincoln View, 33 points, an outstanding second quarter for them. They were six of 11 from two, 55%. Six of 16 from three, 38%. Overall, very respectable, 44%. Three of four for the line, 75% for their 33 points. They have 17 rebounds, including and only five turnovers with six steals, five of those coming in the second quarter. Thank you very much for that, Mark. Uh, Man, work quarter scores of 10 and four. 
Lincoln do a very consistent 16 and 17. Van Wert gets the football, football basketball back first here in the second half. They're letting scoring our, our Lincoln view by Cassidy Hammonds and Kara Brees with nine apiece, six apiece for Katie Diamikas and Jordan Blythe. In the lane, a little runner bounces off the back of the rim. Rebound comes to Emerson Walker, and she battles through trouble and finds her teammate, Kiara Brees. And, and Van Wert was trying to get a, a good look there for Kendra, and she just missed that layup. And Van Wert stays in that zone. And this first four minutes of this third quarter will really determine the outcome of things here both ways. Baseline scream, frees up a three that misses. Brees rebounds, bounces it off of Van Wert Cougar. They're able to secure the ball and they'll head the other way. Of course, the Cougars play in uh, the Western Buckeye League, and you and I get Western Buckeye League action next to Friday night. Boys action. That would be Bath at Elida. And we got double dribble action. She did that so slyly that all the foot fooled the official. I, I wasn't sure if I was seeing yeah, things I, there, I, but <laughs> did she pick her dribble up a dribble again? And I think the kind of the ooh and ah uh, had had uh, the ref call that double dribble, which was the right call. I, I, I officiated for I don't know 15, 16 years, mostly you know middle school stuff, and that happens. You go, did, did I just did, did I really did I really see that? And Mark, when you go to the line of field house, when January rolls around, you just kind of have that tournament feeling. And, and there's been oh. so many great games in that gym over the years. I just love going over there. I do too. Here's Brees trying to get to the rim. She cannot to walk her on top of the circle. Now Brees looks at it. She gets a three out of the corner that was challenged. Walker goes in and gets the rebound and goes up. Missed that shot. Cougars continue to battle. And this time it's Ella Elling forcing the ball to the rim and will draw a foul. Hammer in the offensive glass. Blythe's second, second team foul. First team foul of the half into the free throw line. Ella Elling, she made one of two in the first half. Also has a field goal for three points. She really plays her role well. She rebounds, she defends well. Uh, she knows what to do and, and how to do it for her role. And it's not always scoring for her, but she's done a nice job tonight. Here's another Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. That one she makes, but she stepped over the free throw line in the process and it gets waved off. Back to the 2-2-1 again, just to, again, try to make Van Wert make decisions with the basketball. There's a foul out on top, out in front of everybody. Emerson Walker commits a foul. That's her third. So we get Emerson Walker in foul trouble. That's a good thing, yeah, but they bring in Cassidy Hammonds, who's got nine points and played very well to replace her. She did. She had a great first half. There's a really nice move to the goal by Kendra Deering, and she will get to go to the free throw line as a result. And Kendra hasn't made that shot tonight, but that's her strength. She can really get downhill fast, right or left hand, and shoot in two more free throws. Addison Stevens will pick up her second foul. Deering has a split, split a pair of free throws in the opening quarter and now has two of three, and we'll get one more opportunity from our Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. Makes them both. She has three points in the game now. 33-16. Hammonds for three. Rebound was on the backside by Price, but the return shot is slapped out of bounds. Another, uh, that grazed the rim, but another backside rebound there for Lincoln View, and that's been, they've lived there tonight. Ball's tipped away from Price, and she will be fouled this time by Deering. Second foul for her, and they are piling up in the quarter here, a couple minutes into this. Both teams have two fouls here early. Fifteen foot jumper rattles around a bit and goes in for Addison Stevens. After having a couple of threes in the opening quarter, she now has eight points for the game. And Lincoln View's balance has really shown tonight. They've really done a good job of, of, of many players stepping up and scoring for them. 
Torrance gets a three. And Ellen gets the rebound. Reese wrestles it away and chased from behind and in the process of knocking it loose, Kendra Deering gets foul number three. Yeah, and you can see her effort. She almost got a steal about three times there, mm. but she ended up getting a foul. Now that's three, and the leading score from Van Wert's got to sit down. This Lincoln View is 2-0 and in the Northwest Conference in ladies basketball. Crestview's 3-0, and Jefferson's 3-0, and Grove is 2-1, and Bluffton's 1-1. and In what looks to be a very interesting ladies race, here's a lob pass that's taken away by Dowdy. She's going to go the length of the floor. Gets cut off. Here's a foul line jumper. It's going to go up. This ball won't fall for Blythe. And Van Orton just has really struggled to shoot the basketball tonight. And part of that's Lincoln View, part of that's them. Price. And then out on top to Brees. Back cut. That was really well done. Pass and cut. Finish inside by Emerson Walker for four points on a nice assist pass. What I love about the cut was great and hard, mm. but the step and bounce pass, that's kind of a lost art in basketball. And People try to put the ball above their head and throw that chest pass. That was a great bounce pass for a nice layup. Florence. Blythe. Dowdy made a good back cut, but she was well defended by the time she could get the basketball to her. Lincoln has just done a great job of making Van Wert uncomfortable. They've been uncomfortable most of the night after that first quarter, and that's been the difference. Well, we're really close to a five count right there before they get the ball to Jordan Blythe. It's Jaslyn Florence, and she has to give it up this time to Amaya Blackmore. There's a back cut, and a foul will take place. That was well done. Both ends, nice backdoor cuts, and Lamp of one in and two free throws on, on Van Wert's end. Brooklyn Bird gets her third foul, and we'll have Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throws. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Amaya Dowdy. My WSN duties, I have seen Crestview, Jefferson, Grove, and now Lincoln View. Those are four really nice ladies basketball teams in that conference. Yeah, yes, and I, I would think that Crestview, with their experience coming back, and the Epsilon girl came back out again, is probably the favorite, but there's a lot of good teams in Northwest Conference girls basketball. Liv Lindemann is lighting it up over at Delphus Jefferson this year. So she had four the other night, and yeah. she was 20 of 22 for the free throw line which is, I don't care what level you're at, that's outstanding. Held ball that time, she's over 1,400 career points. And if I understood correctly through social media, and you always gotta take that for, a, a, for what it is and check it out in the future, she set a school scoring record topping her mom. Yes, I, that, that is true, that was against Van Wert, a matter of fact. Okay. So that, that is accurate statement. Here's a three that'll go up, bounces around and will not fall for Byrne. And, of course, Callie Gregory is having a wonderful year at Crestview this year. Yep, and, and both ladies you talked about are both coaches' daughters. Pass down inside. Blythe trying to work. Step back jumper for her, and she is fouled on the wrist trying to get a shot up. And Mark, right now for Van Wert, they're just trying to get better. Uh, they were up, example that, they were up 20 points going to the fourth quarter on Thursday night against Defiance. They got outscored by 18. Mm. And still won the game by two, but yep. they're just trying to get better right now. They're, they're really young, they're really inexperienced, they're trying to get those freshmen to grow up really quick. And, and so um, that, that's where they're at right now. They, 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 they want to finish this last 11 minutes off strong. Jordan Blythe misses the first of her Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. And the second as well. Dowdy gets another rebound. The three out of the corner. Dowdy muscles for the rebound, but it's ripped away on a nice rebound by Addison Stevens. Could you have a held ball? Is that correct? Yeah, it was. It was a jump yeah, ball. I wasn't sure what it was. I was looking to see if it was a foul call or a held ball, and it was. Held ball, which means that the Cougars get to keep the basketball. Lob out on top. It's 
Jazz Lou Florence. Under three minutes to go in quarter number three. The boys game will follow this. There's a pass inside that's tipped away. Unfortunate because Blackmore was open inside. And that's, the, as a coach, you want a ball fake and a bounce pass, and she put the ball above her head and got, got intercepted. Stevens trying to work the lane and cannot Hammonds with the basketball. And double dribbled it. That was another one of those delayed double dribbles there. And it's, in these kind of games, it does get a little sloppy. And, and Lincoln View's Roy Hungler had on defense tonight and, and timely threes. And they've really gotten better. And Coach Williams done a great job with that program. And they, they have girls excited, a lot of people uh, in the program. Their fan base is always excited at Lincoln View because there's no football in the fall. So they're, they're ready for basketball early on. Price comes back into the game. Her team's up 37 16 on our Loudex Jewelry scoreboard. Another good thing about playing a doubleheader this way, uh, Coach, the girls are going to get a pretty good crowd because the boys' crowd is starting to filter in. And that's nice for the ladies to have that opportunity to play in this kind of atmosphere. Absolutely. They deserve that. They've got a lot of Monday, Tuesday, Thursday games and bringing homework on the road. And I'm, I'm really happy that the girls get an opportunity to showcase their talents on, on a Saturday night. Pass inside. Blythe goes up and will draw contact. That was a well done screen and roll situation. Jordan Blythe will get, go back to, get to go back to the free throw line. Emerson Walker joins Brooklyn Berm as having four personal fouls with 1.46 to go here in the third. That one Jordan Blythe makes. Well, in the Western Buckeye League, Bass 3 0, as is Ottawa Glandorf, Shawnee, St. Mary's, Van Wert, Wapak, all 2 and 1. I've not seen a lot of those teams play. I've seen Shawnee, I've seen Bath and Ottawa Glandorf, and the Titans and the Wild Kittens, they are good basketball teams once again. Yeah, that's, that, that's a, without looking at the roster, that would be my guess. You know, OG and Bath and girls basketball, year in and year out. They play, I think, the last Thursday of January, a game that we will have on WOSN. Price gets in the lane, is blocked out of bounds, but I think a foul. And that was an easy call. Yeah. Blythe was in position just to go straight up with her length. And when, she, when you chop like that, that's going to be an automatic foul every time, whether you foul them or not. Jordan Blythe picks up foul number three. Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. Ashlyn Price, five points for her in the game now. And they were playing two of their veteran players with three fouls because they have to, right? At this point, um, they have to do that. And with Price going six for six, or four for four from the foul line, she has six points. We got a timeout in the basketball game. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Van Wert. Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima. Wapak Delta Center St. Mary's is sponsoring our food throws this evening. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken home style happens here. That was a Lincoln View timeout. Each team has used a pair of timeouts in the game now and have three remaining. And somebody's a lot of place on the press. There, there's nothing that drives a coach more crazy than calling a timeout and they're not organized. Yeah, and then you give up a basket because you weren't prepared to defend that time. And he just put his hands yeah. on his head. The coach's uh, frustration moment. And you're dealing with 15, 16, 17, 18 year old people and those things happen. Here's a blocking foul, correct it is. Dowdy gets called for the foul. That is Amaya's second. And both teams are in the bonus, which is two shots. And Ashlyn Price will go back to the line. Five free throws for her, seven points in the game. Lincoln View has a game Tuesday with Kaleida at home as she makes the second free throw. Then they go to Spencerville on Thursday in NWC action. Trapped in the corner, bad place to be for Deering. And she fights the ball out of there, but she throws it to a Lincoln View Lancer. 
Threw it to Addison Stevens. And Lincoln you do exactly what they wanted to. They wanted to funnel her to the corner and got a turnover at, at, out of it. Carabrice on top. Penetration dribble, turns the corner. And the runner in the lane won't fall for us. Blythe rebounds. Under half a minute to go. See if the Cougars can get a shot off here before the break. Dowdy does, because she was headed to the rim and we fouled by Ashlyn Price. And if it has been aggressive this quarter to, to get to the free throw line, mm -hmm. they're just not making enough shots to, to cut into that lead. Gave you Lincoln View's schedule this week. Van Wert has a game on Tuesday as well. They go to Bryan, and then they will host Wapakoneta on Thursday night in Western Buckeye League action. And I believe, believe Brian's girls team is really good this they year, They are really too, good. Well. They, uh, I saw them play in the Bath Christmas Tournament. And they lost to a very good uh, Notre Dame Cathedral team out of Toledo. And then uh, came back and defeated Bath in the consolation game of the Bath Tournament. That free throw went in. Two points now for Dowdy. Yeah, you don't see Bath very often in a consolation tournament. They did not play well either night. Now, part of it was their opposition. Marion Local got them on uh, the first night of the tournament, and Brian got them on the second night. And by all accounts, I did not see the second night. But they did not play well on uh, night number two. But night number one was a pretty good basketball game. Marion Local was just flat out better. 2.4 seconds to go for Lincoln View to get a shot here at the end of the quarter. Brees with the ball. There's her shot at the buzzer that hits nothing. It goes out of bounds, but we have played the first 24 minutes, and it is 41-21 Lancers. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Loudix, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years, is our scoreboard sponsor this evening. You can visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. 41 21 in favor of the Lincoln View Lancers. They've had quarter scores of 16, 17, and 8. They are led in scoring by Cassidy Hammonds and Kara Brees with 9 apiece. Addison Stevens has 8. Van Wert Cougars quarter scores of 4, 10, and 7. And they are led in scoring by Jordan Blythe. She has eight. Pass inside. Power move. Nope. Rebound ticking away. Here at, at Katie Diamit Diamikas. Here's Dowdy. And look if you got a great shot there. Just didn't make it. That, they did exactly what they wanted to yep. in that possession. And, and, and I, I'm sure they'll work on a lot of different things this quarter to, for execution purposes. It is one of the frustrating things about coaching. You draw the play up just exactly right. And got the shot to go that time by Deering. She's got five points in the game now. But it's hard to say you work the play to perfection and the ball still doesn't go in the basket. It's a frustrating thing for player and coach. It is. And Deering finally made a field goal. She had a lot of shot attempts tonight. And that was probably the most challenging one. We could do penetration dribble price. Now Brees. She gets into the lane, scoop shot for her. That will go. Ashton Price becomes a double-figure scorer with 10. And Lincoln, if you turn the corner a couple times there and really made it difficult, and a, a great finish there by Price. Penetration, and we get a, tried to penetrate off the pass. We got a five count first, called against Katie Diamikas. Boys game to follow. Again, the ball pressure and the defensive rotations by Lincoln View has just been outstanding tonight. A couple of pretty young basketball teams. Each has some senior players with them, but the majority of their talent is younger players, and it shows a little bit this evening. Brees in the corner for the pass. Walker goes baseline. Battle for the rebound. Good rebound, Blythe. Deering. And she over dribbled, lost it off her leg. A little frustration for the junior. 
Yeah, and she, she got sped up there and didn't cross over and, and dribbled off her knee. Walker comes off the screen, gets to the elbow. Price works the lane. Lincoln is very content to run time. A little miscommunication. Stevens had made a cut, and Walker wasn't prepared for it yet. And I say that, and they throw it away. So yeah. a lot of contact there. They're letting them play a little bit right now. And both teams really want to finish this game strong heading into next week as we get into the meat of the schedule for this year. Every coach is glad when their players get back in school, aren't they? They are. Routine is, is huge. And the teams that handle that, I call it Christmas cookie uh, period over, over mm -hmm. break, are the ones that are the most successful. D'Amica scores for points of 7 and 8 for her in the basketball game to make it 43-25. Stevens gets a shot in the lane. It's a bit hard. Who hit that one out of bounds? I think Blythe did. She did. Put a couple of subs in the game. Bella Bem will enter for Van Wert. And I believe that is Brooklyn Byrne in the game for, yes it is, for the Lady Lancers. And both teams will start playing some bench players now and give them experience as well. Walker into the lane. Stevens gets a shot blocked by by That was Burns, excuse me. We'll go the other way. Ball was kicked on a bounce pass by Dowdy. And Blythe is really long and she's hard to shoot over and that's the strength of hers if she goes straight up like she did there. Held ball, nope, she ripped it away. Scramble for it. And we will get a held ball that will stay with the Cougars. And Lincoln has got their hands on numerous balls like that tonight. Just tips, deflections, steals. Just been really aggressive on, on the ball defense. Did you have anything special you did when you were coaching at Christmas to try to keep your players' attention? We, you know, they're, they're eating at the wrong time. They're sleeping at the wrong time. Did you do anything special to keep their attention? You know, we, we did. Um, a couple of years, we, we, had, we actually – brought them in and, and at different times and we actually had, one year had a sleepover in, in, in our gym yeah watched a movie and just tried to break up the monotony mm -hmm. uh, but we try to be consistent in our schedule in the morning but it, it, i tell you it's hard it, and and it all depends on when christmas falls too mark sure. and, and that's always a big deal this year not quite as bad because it was on a monday but when, when it's on a wednesday or a friday mm -hmm. or saturday it's really weird um and so we did some creative things, but you, you try to keep it light, um, but a but, uh, routine. Bank shot will go for Addison Stevens. She's got 11 in the game. That's her third made three-point field goal, 18th of the season. And two bank threes tonight, so you yep. know it's looking for night. I had one I tried to do. I would get 12 players in the gym. We would play six on six. I would then let them choose the team. We'd play six quarters, and everybody had to sit out one quarter. We'd keep track of who won the most number of quarters. If it was tied, when we went to total number of points, and we just made a little tournament out of it just to get conditioning, play your game. It was kind of interesting to see how the players played um, when they coached themselves. Uh, you know, when your point guard has to sit down, who's playing point guard for you? Who'd they choose to put out there? And it was kind of interesting to see. We're going to get a timeout. We're going to take one more break as well. 3.49 to go in this one. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. That timeout was assessed to the Van Wert Cougars. They are behind in this one. The Lincoln View Lancers, 46-25. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app for your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores. Mark Schein, Coach Mark Bagley here from Van Wert. This is the ladies version of this game that will be followed immediately by the boys version. Van Wert's going to pick up full court press a little bit. And Mark, going back to that point about Christmas, I would say the most rewarding and enjoyable is having former players come back. 
and practice with our guys yep. and, and just being mentors and leaders toward the, the players that are playing. That, that was a huge part of our program, and we, we loved having them come back. I'm always interested in how teams improve or, in some cases, uh, get, get worse, I guess, for I think a lot of time a better term, over the Christmas break. Some coaches do some experimentation with players, with, with defenses or an offensive scheme or whatever, and they come back better and others just uh, lose a little bit with the, the way they practice over Christmas and sleep schedules and everything else that takes place. Yeah, social media and video games and all those things that are so, so easy and accessible have caused people not to sleep either. Blythe working the lane, goes up from 15. Jordan Blythe becomes a double figure scorer with 10. She's the leading scorer for Van Wert in this game as we approach three minutes to go. Really good shot fake and skill level move there by Blythe. Bounce pass inside, and we're going to get a held ball. Ashlyn Price had the basketball, so did Jordan Blythe. It will stay with Lincoln View. And Martha, there's been no fouls in this fourth quarter with only three minutes to go. Um, we may not see the bonus here in the fourth quarter. You better not have just pulled the Mike Shep jinx. I, 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 may, I may have. And there's your first one right there as we're going to get a foul on Kendra Deering. She gets foul number four. And that is the first here in quarter number four for either team. Kendra's going to get a break. She is replaced by the Kreitz freshman. Walker from the corner for three, overshot it. Blythe with another, another rebound. Now Blythe's going to get a ball fake and go, but cut off defensively. That's a nice job. Dowdy for three. Rebound Walker. Emerson Walker, 5'6", junior. Lots of players getting opportunities right now. Hammonds, pressured out front by Kreitz, who came in just a moment ago, and Lee is going to get her first foul. Ella Elling will re-enter the basketball game. 5'10", sophomore's got three points today. Hammonds is working the lane, couldn't get anywhere. Price throws it cross court to Walker, and they become patient this time. Price backs him down, left-handed finish inside. That was well done by Ashlyn Price. She becomes the leading scorer in the game with 12. Blythe working inside, cannot get there. He's Dowdy. Lincoln View's defense just has not let up all night long. There's another tie up. And we get a held ball. Mark, I'm not really a New Year's resolution guy, but I made a decision over the Christmas break. I'm going to not just learn, but understand pack line defense. I've, I've read a lot about it. I've, I've uh, I looked at the videos of it. What I want to do is find a coach who's teaching it and go watch him teach it. I really like how that system plays. And there's a bounce pass inside that's knocked away. I spent an offseason studying it and really tried to be faithful and implement it uh, with, with Coach Dave Fralick. Yep. I thought our personnel fit it. And I, I just couldn't buy into it when push came to shove after spending about four months with it. <laughs> but I know, and, and a very good coach, who used to be all out denial, Brett Norris, who yep. plays that style in Columbus at, at Hilliard Bradley and is very successful with it. He would be the person that you would want to study with. Grace Brickner has entered for Lincoln View as we're under a minute to go. You know, I grew up, and I, I think a lot of us did. Doubt he misses that one. Here's Brickner chasing a rebound down. Good job by her with that ball you man stuff that we all grew up with. And I want to learn pack line defense. I think I have a basic understanding of it. Just want to get a concept of how you teach that thing. 
And, and, and Dick Bennett's another great example. Oh, yeah. Dick went from on the line up the line on yep. the Nile, and he finished up his career in the pack line defense. And, and really, Virginia, Tony Bennett essentially plays pack line defense yep. too as well. And he is a phenomenal coach. Uh, was it Jay Wright at Vanilla Villanova? Was outstanding with it. Yes. Yep. It, it really forces teams to shoot shots you want them to take, and most of those are contested jump shots. Looks like Lincoln View is going to run this one down, and they are going to end up taking a whoop. Yep, that shot's blocked at the buzzer, so they will not finish up with another basket, but Lincoln View will end up with a 48 41 victory in this game. And Lincoln View will go to 6 and 5 on the season. Of course, remain 2 and 0 uh, in the Northwest Conference. Van Wert will drop to 3 and 8, and they will stay at 2 and 1 in the Western Buckeye League. Game was really taken away in the second quarter, was it? 17 to 4 that quarter. Yeah, and, and congratulations, Lincoln View. They played an outstanding game tonight. They really set the tone defensively. They, they went on a streak there, a 13 0 run in the, in the end of the first. Started the second, took control of the game, and never let up. And they've really gotten better. And that team is going to be uh, a team come tournament time that could make some noise. Van Wert will go quarter scores 10, 4, 7, and 6 for their 27 points. They were led by Jordan Blythe in scoring with 10 points today. Katie Diamikas had 8. Lincoln View quarter scores 16, 17, 8, and 7 for their 48 points. They were led. How about the balance for them? Ashlyn Price had 12. Addison Stevens had 11 and nine apiece from Cassidy Hammonds and from Kiara Breeze. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight has been Loudix Jewelry. Our free throw sponsor tonight has been Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. We've got the boys game coming up right after this. It is a Lincoln View Lancer 48-27 victory in the opener. You've been watching high school basketball on WOSN.